having that Woodland Mills accessible to us. One of the reasons why we, I guess, want to do something really cool is just because we have the machine to do it. Yeah, so I'm Mitch, or this is Mitch, <laughs> I'm Jake. Yeah. Um, so we, we kind of started out doing woodworking carpentry back in high school. And yeah. Just uh, been doing it ever since, really. It's, uh, we just kind of been doing it here and there, not a really a career out of it. We just kind of like doing it. So we started a page and yeah, decided to go big right off the bat. So yeah, I think uh, we got our first mill, the Woodland Mills HM130 back when I graduated high school. That was uh, yeah. probably in 2017. But that's mm -hmm. when uh, we had a big ash borer that took out a lot of trees in our backyard and everything. It just basically killed everything around us. So we yeah. decided to actually make some use out of those and really just went head first and uh, got a mill, started milling them up and kind of learned on the way. Yeah. Learned a lot. After we built the, or got the mill, we kind of realized we got to start drying this stuff out properly and monitoring it. And that, that took a while to figure out. And next thing you know, we were building a kiln and getting all that stuff figured out, so. And then the actual shop or the actual mill shed yeah. was milled. All the lumber was milled for that and built with it, so yeah. Yeah, it's kind of one thing led to another and we didn't realize it was going to get quite this big. We were just kind of having fun with it. And then next thing you know, it's just kind of took off for us. So, yeah. Um, so basically we, we kind of just wanted to do a lot of woodworking. We didn't want to do like your standard house remodeling stuff. Like we kind of started doing that out in high school and stuff, but we really wanted to do something that's unique to us and really just something we could really find interest in. What we found out is just like finding cool projects that we could really think outside the box on and figure out how to make something work that no one really could or necessarily thought of doing in a certain situation. So as far as like the business goes, we so we both went to school for engineering and then woodworking was always something we did on the side. So now it's, you know, you get the machine and then you mill your lumber and then you're like, oh, well, let's try something new. So we just kind of always want to be doing something different. And that's kind of when we just started started Warzala Brothers and just we want to be known for doing stuff that's different. So I mean, the social media stuff we just kind of started getting into. So it's there's like a lot we haven't even really shown. Yeah, the, the big project we're working on right now is the silo. So we're we're working on, we kind of did a small one on our parents' property back when we were in high school. Basically, we wanted to kind of start fresh on this new silo project. Now that we had a mill, we could mill up our own lumber, do our own timbers. We were kind of able to think outside the box with it then. So this one didn't have any roof on it at all. So we were able to just go to town, mill yeah. up a bunch of trees. And we kind of did our own timber frame roof with mortises and tenons. So we did all the original kind of old school timber frame structure on the roof, all out of our own milled lumber. And then after that, we kind of just worked our way down and uh, milled a bunch of timbers up for the ladder chute. We did a timber frame entryway, and then that's where the spiral staircase came into effect for yeah, uh, that kind yeah. of blew up and that what you guys were able to see, so. It's, uh, well, we owe our brother right now. So it, it's on our brother's property. We're doing it for him and with them. They've, you know, everyone in our videos is brothers, probably 90% of them, so. We're not taking a lunch. Yeah, we are. We don't have food. No, well, we can't get some. No, and this is we have so much macaroni. We were looking at metal staircases, the spiral ones that you can kind of get, and we just didn't really like necessarily the quality of them. And for the price, it just, it didn't seem yeah. effective. So we kind of just started chugging out online and looking at um, wood spiral staircase, because mm -hmm. wood is our specialty. We kind of, that's where we fall back to. So I think uh, I was just plugging around on Pinterest, like typing in, Wood yeah. homemade staircases, and I saw a couple timber ones like this. So, yeah, yeah basically gonna... a picture. Yeah, I guess for starters, it was just kind of where the floor, starting with the height of the actual treads of the stairs, to just going from the floor, measuring your way up, 
and then figuring out how big we could actually go in that little space that we had to work with. So just kind of had to work with the simplest, your height, how many steps to get down to there, and then the width too. So we were pretty constrained as far as what we could put in there. And that's kind of why we didn't purchase the spiral staircase either. It just wanted to fit in that spot. Yeah, so it's like one of those things where you kind of look at a picture and you think you can kind of do it, but then you just, it's the little things like knowing the width of the steps, the mill mat, because it all really started out with milling up the lumber. And we're kind of just like brainstorming, we're yeah. shooting ideas back and forth, like how wide do we want these, how high? And we kind of played it safe. We milled them bigger than what we needed. And that way we could always resaw them back down after they dried out. So basically we kind of just uh, figured at least we needed about nine inches for step height. And then after the step height was figured out, we kind of like played around with some widths and figured out what would be a good width to allow enough tread to step on. And then once we kind of figured that out, it was a matter of length. And we were kind of limited on that, as Mitch was saying, yeah. where we only had about a five foot diameter spiral staircase to work with. So we just figured milled up three feet long slabs and that would give us enough room for overlap. And yeah, so enough room to drill our rod through or put holes in for sending the rod through. So yeah. Luckily, it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> yeah, no, it, was, it, it basically in our video, it we showed a lot of us just dry fitting it. So we dry fitted it twice, basically without any screws or bolts. We just kind of set them on top of each other and place spacers underneath. And that would just kind of hold it up. That way we could figure out how much to fan it out and where our first step should be in, in order to line up our very top steps. So yeah, it was just a lot of hauling those things up and down and kind of figuring out what was the best position for them. So um, really the hardest part, I would say it's just like finishing the, the slabs. After they dry out, they split. And really it's just a matter of cutting them to length, yeah. getting them all nice and finished and then hand planing them. Cause that Makita hand planer, that thing's what, probably 60 pounds yeah, that you're holding weight. around. So yeah, you're, you're basically man handling these slabs just to get them on perfectly square smooth and then um yeah just the light. logs alone too just hauling those around yeah because i think some were probably 13 feet because we could get three steps out of one log on a couple of them so it's just yeah cutting them up planing them and then try fitting them to probably the hardest part it was pretty yeah. fun that was like one of the funner projects we got to work on yeah it kind of reminded us when we were kids like just playing with legos and blocks giant blocks throw yeah. them together so yeah it felt good when we slid the last one in and then just tapped it i think you like jumped on it yeah and it like fit in there perfectly so yeah that was a good weekend yeah we had we still got a little bit of work to do on them like we're working on the railings right now going up in the yeah. stairs because we got the top landing railing done but then we still got to do some handrails going down as well so still got a little bit of work to do on it but yeah it was definitely uh it's just like one of those things like you can take a lot of joy out of a project and then to see someone else kind of get that same joy is kind of nice yeah makes it uh all worth the hard work in the end so yeah so there's gonna be a live edge bar on the bottom that mitch has been working a lot on and then uh on the top floor i've been working on a wraparound bench for all the windows the 360 degree view so yeah which is some of it partially construction lumber, just the stuff that's hidden and then the stuff that is exposed, we like to use that, the milled ash. That, that. So we have like a bunch of ash trees around us that we're just constantly using. Um, so we'll try to use that, mill up our own and we're uh, in parts that you do see the, the woodwork, so. Um, we got a lot of siblings and they, yeah. they kind of want to line up on the list of home rentals and, uh, little projects here and there so yeah. it'll be a 50 50 between a family project or doing something for a close friend so but yeah, yeah we got a people definitely like the timber frame and large lumber looks so those are definitely on the upcoming to do so. yeah so get a lot more people reaching out a lot of people further away too we just so swamped right now with like local work that we stay pretty busy with but 
yeah it's definitely floating around out there people asking us to build stuff but it's good to know that uh yeah people like your work yeah. i think uh one of the things we like about social media too is not so much even like getting like um uh, clients it's more just like getting feedback from people too it's just because we're still really young at this and kind of new at it so it's always nice to kind of get feedback because we like to try all sorts of stuff we do everything from concrete woodworking a little bit of electrical here and there and stuff and basically we don't do too much metalworking but we try so basically it's nice to get feedback from people on how to do stuff better and that's where social media kind of comes in handy yeah. because they don't mind giving you a little bit of criticism here and there so we like it it helps us out and helps us learn so yeah nice and sturdy i think so way better than most of the spiral staircases we walk on this thing is pretty rock solid actually i uh, get ready for a lot of work <laughs> Yeah, make sure your numbers are right. Yeah. Calculate it right. And or double check your numbers. Make yeah. sure you mill up a little bit extra too. <laughs> that helps. That's uh we're yeah. always right on the edge of what we need and it helps to have that little bit of extra, but you never know how the wood's gonna dry or if there's like one that's rotted on the inside yeah. and you don't realize it till you kinda like start finishing cutting it up. and cutting it. And so basically you always have a little bit of extra play in your work and uh yeah measure twice cut once yeah yeah for sure I, I think it's probably one of the reasons why we wanted to take on something so unique and interesting especially not just the stairs but like the roof it's just it's cool that we're able to use local lumber either from like an arborist that's been cutting it down and then just trees in our woods here and just having that woodland mills accessible to us and then also being able to plan something out and then actually make it happen. It, one of the reasons why we, I guess, want to do something really cool is just because we have the machine to do it. Being in the woodworking, we kind of just always resorted when we were in high school, going right to the store, buying lumber. And that really limited us. We kind of then started getting into barn wood, searching for barns that were falling down and salvaging that. And we liked doing that a lot. And then we realized we kind of want to do more with big timbers and like specialty sizes where we need just that size to make it work. And that's where we're like, at that point, we kind of need a, a sawmill. And that, that just kind of opened a whole new book of opportunities for us. And we were able to take on a lot more projects and try new stuff, stuff that we weren't able to try yeah. before. And yeah, we're kind of excited where it's going to take us too. Cause now after doing <laughs> these, the roof, the spiral staircase, it's like kind of, Kind of want you a lot of things we could try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>